Hey, JNM here with a new free CAD tutorial in which I'm going to show you some sketching techniques. We are creating this part here. We start in part design with the sketch and we will also add these fillets here. Okay, so let's start. You see I'm using FreeCAD 0.19, but you can use 0.18 as well. First I select the part design and then I click the button Create New. Okay, to start the part we create a new body and to start the body we create a sketch as we did in the previous part. Okay, now we have to select a plane to that we are sketching and you see I can pan when I hold the shift key down and the middle mouse button. Without the shift key I rotate and when I scroll the mouse wheel I can zoom. If this doesn't work for you, right click and select for example the blender navigation style. Okay, I select the XY plane so that we have a top-down view and then I press OK. Alright, now we have a view onto the sketching plane. Here on the left side you can see that I enabled these options. Most important is for me the auto constraints. An example you can see in a moment. Okay, to start the sketch I select a tool and I will select the circle to start with the holes. When I hover over the x-axis, it turns yellow and I want to start at this axis. So I click and then I drag out the circle. Don't hold the mouse button down, just click and move the mouse and then click again to finish. Now we have a circle and the midpoint is constrained to the x-axis. This is the auto constraint and in this case, the constraint is a fixed point onto object. So the midpoint of the circle is constrained to this axis. This means I can still move around the circle but only along the x-axis. I can also set a certain radius, a constraint for the radius. So I select the outline of the circle and then this constraint and then I can set the exact radius. In this case I set it to 4. You see we can also move around the label of the constraint. Okay nice, I move it a bit more to the center and then I go ahead and add the next circle. Again I select the circle from the toolbar and start drawing from the x-axis. This time with a larger radius, the exact radius we will set later on and again the auto constraint is added. The point is fixed for the x-axis. Right click to get rid of the selected tool, then click the outline and again set the radius. I set it to 6. Ok, now comes the next part to draw the outline of the shape, which is a bit more tricky but also not too complicated. I start with the arc tool, this one here, and as a start point I select the center of this circle. You see it turns yellow when we hover over it, then click. Don't hold the mouse button down, just move the mouse and then click where you want to set the first point of the arc. After clicking you can move the mouse again to define the arc and then click again to set the second point. And that's it, the arc is sketched. Now let's do this for the circle on the right as well. Again, click at the center, drag out the arc, click again, define the arc and click to complete. Ok, now we have the arcs, I right click to get rid of the selected tool, the arc tool. And now we have to connect these points. But again we need a kind of arc, because I don't want to have a straight line here. And for this, surprise, I select the polyline tool, start at this point. Now we have a line, but I want to have an arc, so I have to press M three times. One, two, three. And then we have this behavior and can connect the last point. After connecting it you can press the right mouse button to finish and then we have to do the same thing again for the two points at the bottom. I start with this point M M M and then connect to this point. Right click and the sketch is almost completed. You see we have a constraint here 
at this point, which is called the tangent constraint. This makes a smooth connection of the lines, which I also want to have for these two lines here. So I left click and select them and then choose the tangent constraint. Okay, now we will always have a smooth joint here. And I will add the same for these two lines. Okay, now we can move around the circles to define the shape of the sketch. I don't work here with exact meshes for all parts. I just want to show you how to use the sketching tools. But what I will do is to change the radius for this circle here. At the moment we have 4 millimeters. I set it to 3. And I'm quite happy with the sketch. You see we have quite a few degrees of freedom. We can still move around the points. But that's okay. I just want to do a kind of sketching by eye. Just to find the shape that I was going for. So don't add more constraints, I leave it as is, here with 6 degrees of freedom. And then I press close to close the sketch, so that we can continue creating the pad. This means we are going to extrude a 3D object from the sketch, and to do this I click pad. Here we have it, the length is at 10 millimeters. I decrease it to let's say 4. And the last thing that I want to add is the fillets. So I select these faces, hold the control key to select two faces at the same time. Then I press OK to close the pad view and we can select fillet. Again, the radius of the fillets is a bit too high. I set it to 0.6. And here's the object that I wanted. Okay guys, I hope it was understandable and not too fast this time. Please give me a feedback and I also wanted to let you know that you can support me by being my patron. Here's the page, I added the link to the description. You get nice perks, especially if you are a golden card or ruby member. You get access to all my projects on Gumroad, to my 3D models and the private repos on my GitLab. You also get a supporter role on my Discord. And if you have any questions regarding modeling, programming or whatever, I can try to help you. Okay guys, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to JNM if you haven't already. Support me on my Patreon, here's the link, or join as a member on my channel. You get the same perks. You find the links in the description. Also subscribe to my Instagram and Facebook and I'll see you in the next one.